Good morning. It's Friday, February 24th, and uh, we're here to solve the New York Times crossword puzzle. That's what we do on this YouTube channel. But you probably already knew that because you clicked on it. Uh, today's puzzle was constructed by Margaret Seichel and Sophia Maimudis. Um, I don't know. Uh, I feel like I've seen Sophia's name before. Um, it's Friday, so we're expecting a challenge with some good fill and no theme. Uh, that's pretty typical for a Friday. Appreciate you joining me here and just go ahead and like the video. You're probably going to like it. So just click like, and then if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that as well. And that's all I got spiel wise. That's my whole pitch to you. Um, so let's solve a crossword puzzle. Hope you're having a good week. A cover story <clears throat> is an alibi. How many packages are sent? Kings and Queens are chess pieces, right? And this, this is Amy Mann. I know that one, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. Something that maybe you shouldn't hold, like a grudge. Discreet look. Transport in the film Roman Holiday. Hmm. Something plated. Is that a braid? 328 feet in an Olympic size pool. Well, that's the length of one lap. The Gaelic tongue is fierce, I think. Smart Alec, probably. What musicians pluck <coughs> on a mbira? What do you pluck on an mbira? Well, typically you'd pluck a string. Um, that's not it. And it's not pluck a chicken. So it's something else that you pluck. A uh, trail mix bit is an oat. One who collects just for kicks. Not completely worthless. Like of use, useful. QR codes might pull up. Might pull up menus. Right. I guess this is a nut. And maybe this is useful. Wayne Brady. Wayne Zworld. Sources of psilocybin informally are shrooms, mushrooms, the psychoactive ingredient in mushrooms, magic mushrooms is psilocybin. Gets you weird. Shell filling station. Oops. Uh, Nordic noir author Larson. That's Stieg Larson, right? I think that's the guy who wrote The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and the accompanying books. Two bit green cappuccino alternative. So, I got, I don't know. Question from a friendly interviewer. That's a lob. Easy one. Call someone by the wrong name. Maybe errors. Snake eyes, four eyes. Unite is join, probably. One end of Suez. Let's say that's just Z. Above board, like legit, legal, licit. That could be a, several things, but they all begin with L. What is this road trip stop over an in? So, oops. Um, so legal licit. There we go. Uh, Ethan Hunt, I believe, is that guy. One who makes videos, for example. Country singer Jason. Hmm. I was gonna say Isbell. Is it like Modine, Bodine, Jason? Uh, workplace for a roughneck is an oil rig. Not a place I would want to work. Sweater over a turtleneck, say. One side of a 90s boy band rivalry. Let's in sync. Had a rivalry with. In sync. Had a rivalry with uh, <clears throat> the Backstreet Boys. Something climbing. Hmm. Ugh. Like, ick. 
sort of creature symbolizing rebirth in ancient Egypt. Sort of creature. Hmm. Emphatic confirmation about oneself. Let's say that I'm great. Wireless support providers at times. Is it the grid? <clears throat> grid? Something, yuck it up maybe? Yuck it up, this looks weird. Packages are sent. One of two penguin species endemic to Antarctica. Lizard with a third eye is iguana. Chilled for is rept. Miley Cyrus or Hannah Montana. Miley Cyrus or Hannah Montana. So that's the same person, right? Um, kings and Queens, what is this? Hmm. Sports VIP. So braid seems wrong. Because this is going to be like GMs, right? And so grid, I'm not feeling great about that either. What is this? Packages are sent, oh, by air. Wireless support, oh, bras. What is this? Something make up? Makeup. Discreet look. It's got to be something makeup. And I should know what kind of penguin this is. Musicians pluck a tune. A tune? Mm. <clears throat> Whenever works. No rush. Hardly touch as one's food. What is this? Something plated. A dress? Oh, a tress. The braid wasn't too far off because we're now we're talking about a tress of hair. Hardly touch as one's food. Cause of fatigue. Contraction for one. Animal identified by its number of toes. Well, that's a sloth, right? A three-toed sloth. Completely worthless. Use. Usable. And this is maybe pop star. Kings and queens. Hmm. Moped must be the transport. Let's say this is pop star. The cause of fatigue is anemia. Anem. Yeah. So this is Stieg. There we go. Traction for one. Passes. Like enacts. Like a law, perhaps. Who collects just for kids? La. Something pose. Good for poaching. What's good for poaching? Oh, Bosque pair. Choose or choice. Select. One unlikely to make a pass. One unlikely to make a pass. Like a slow poke, like a Lane hog. Electrically neutral in chemistry. One name singer with the 1997 hit, Show Me Love. You've got to show me love. Da -na 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 -na. But I have no idea. Princess Diana or Diana Ross. Gay icon. Spirit of Oaxaca is Mezcal. Not a big Mezcal guy. It's too smoky for me. Space between leaf veins. What is this? So this is like a mo oh, matcha latte. 
something I would never get. Um, in. Metaphor for lifting. Oh, so this is Tetris. Excellent game. A creepy story. Oh, that's the attic. So it's not join. Got attic. Cordelia's father, I think, is King Lear. Take in urn. Place for a graphic image. Ron Eli played Tarzan. Okay, I'm not doing too bad here. 950. <clears throat> Kings and Queens are an example of. I feel like Ick might be wrong here. Ugh. Kings and Queens are an example of. Discreet look. Discreet look. Hmm. Musicians pluck on a Mibira. I mean, could it be tune? Probably. One who collects just for kicks. Oh, a sneaker head. In I, I think. Add a lie. Maybe pluck a line. Uh, pluck a. Hmm. I don't know. Sneakerhead feels right. Wayne. Wayne. What's this peck at? Peck at. Was this not I'm great? Wayne. A shell filling station. Shell filling station. So what are we talking about here? Shell filling. Two bit, like cheapo. Is this like La Roche? Wayne. Yeah. I was doing pretty well here, but United's ally. One who makes videos is a content creator. Someone the other day said, like, really, the best you can do is create content. Like, that's a pretty low bar. Like, content isn't by definition any good. So, I don't know. Um, oh, Jason Aldean. Must be areola. Butter over a turtleneck is a layer. And that's trendy. And that's a graphic T. Okay, that works. <clears throat> Something climbing. Land climbing? Like, what is this? Something climbing. Lead climbing? Kings and queens are oh, pieces. So this is... Oops. Is great. Emphatic confirmation is great. Okay. Weird. Um, no making. No, what? This is a beetle. Like, is this wrong? This, this, this is no makeup makeup. I, oh, I sure am. Emphatic confirmation of oneself. I sure am. Okay. I don't, mm. no makeup, makeup. Like what? I, what? One of two penguin species endemic to Antarctica. I think it's still probably Adelai. Uh, contraction for one is, uh, so now I'm thinking like contraction in, uh, giving birth and labor. 
Um, so like a contraction is like a push or a shove or a, um, um, what we got here? Wayne, a Wayne Manor, like Batman's house. Let's say this is a T. I want this to be La Roche. Shell filling station, like shell filling station. Oh, taco bar. That's a good one. Roche. Unlikely to make passes a ball hog. Electrically neutral in chemistry is probably apolar. Robin. Is it tune? Brian? Um, I don't, I mean, I thought it was an I for Adelaide, but then Tyne, I thought maybe it was Tune, but so I guess Tyne, like a, like a fork Tyne, um, 1502, I mean, kind of right in that sort of average, maybe a slightly tougher, maybe like a six out of 10. Um, but overall pretty good puzzle. I mean, there was just a lot of distinct fill in here, which is great. Um, I don't love by air as an answer, but it's something we don't see often. So that's pretty good. Sneakerhead is fantastic. Um, Wayne Manor, great. Shrooms all day. Taco bar, why not? Um, matcha latte, I don't, you know, it's not a thing I would order, um, nor is the mezcal at crosses, but they're both good pieces of fill. So that's, that's terrific. A uh, couple of names, but like nothing too bad. Um, Ethan Hunt. I don't, I'm not so familiar with the Mission Impossible series. Um, I've seen them for sure, but um, that's an easy one that, you know, kind of we all are at least aware of. Same with Jason Aldean. Um, you know, it was just like, I don't, if you asked me to name a country star named Jason, he's not who I would have come up with. But um, when we started getting some crosses in there, it made sense. Uh, pop star, that's always a good one. I mean, there's so many good examples of pop stars that we can just keep rehashing that one. A ball hog, love that. Um, the NBA is coming down the home stretch. Really hoping my Celtics can get the job done this year. Tetris, like I grew up in you know the 80s and 90s, and Tetris was the best. Um, we didn't have a lot of options, and like the Game Boy version of Tetris, um, that specific. One was just awesome and played it a lot. Um, Ron Eli, I can't say I've ever seen this Tarzan film, but Ron Eli is a pretty, um, you know, something we see in, in uh, crosswords pretty often. Amy Mann, you know, distinctive spelling, but again, we see it, you know, fairly often. Steve Larson's probably the toughest uh, bit of name fill in here, other than La Roche Pose, which. I don't even know why I thought that was La Roche. I, I don't, I've never used that skincare brand or really any skincare brand. Um, so there you go. Um, that's why I'll never be a gay icon because I don't have enough skincare products. Um, poached Bosque, great. Three Toad Sloth, I'm into it. Um, yeah, all, all pretty good. I mean, there's just not, there's nothing that I, I really dislike here. You know, a polar isn't my favorite. Adelaide penguin, eh? Um, you know, not not fantastic, but um, probably my hardest spot here was this. I sure am. I mean, once I had, I'm great. It was really hard to get away from that. And I sure am. You know, it shares one, two, three, four out of seven letters with I'm great, and um, so that was a challenge. And no makeup, makeup. Is that a, what is, what does that mean? It means you don't look like you're wearing makeup or you're actually not wearing makeup or, um, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. But overall, this was a good puzzle. I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought that this was kind of exactly what I'm looking for on a Friday. A little bit challenging, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, well laid out, not a ton of short fill, which is nice. Uh, so really very few complaints, fairly smooth solve other than the place I got myself kind of hung up up there. 
So yeah, all good. I mean, kind of what we're looking for on a Friday puzzle. Good solve. Well done, Margaret and Sophia. I'm into it. Um, and I'm into you guys too, because you joined me here for this puzzle. And if you're still here at whatever minute this is, then that's great. Um, as I mentioned at the top of the video, please click the like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Um, we like doing these things. It's more fun together. So I appreciate you joining me as always. And I hope you'll join me again next week for another live solve of the New York Times crossword. Thanks. Bye.